Okay, here is Wanted Dead or Alive, the intro um, by uh, Bon Jovi. Uh, the one thing to remember on this particular song is the middle finger is riding the G string, the third string from the bottom. So no matter what you do on this first half of the intro, don't lift up the middle finger other than to slide it on the third string. All right. Also, you're going to have parts where you're going to have numbers like 13th and 14th fret whenever that happens for the first string and third string from the bottom, the E and G string. It's going to be index and middle finger. But if you ever have two of the same numbers, like 12th fret and 12th fret on the same strings, the ring finger is going to be on the bottom string. So it's just going to take turns going back and forth. All right, so we're going to start by placing little miniature, we'll say, just say miniature chords on the uh, first and third string, 13th fret and 14th fret. And you're going to pluck down the fourth and third string and up on the first and third. Okay, so, and for this first half, it's always going to be the fourth, third, first, third on the strings. And you remove the middle finger to the 12th fret, put that ring finger on the bottom string, 12th fret, do the same strings, fourth, third, first, third. Remember, down, down, up, up. 10th fret, down, down, up, up. 9th fret and 8th fret. 4th, 3rd, 1st, 3rd, down, down, up, up. Double 5th fret. 4th and 3rd fret. Now you're going, then you're going to hit the 3rd string again and slide back to the 2nd fret. Now remember when you do the slide, don't lift up pressure and then put the first finger on the bottom string. Let me do that last part again. On the fourth and third, slide. So let me do that again, just slow in context. And you're always going to play that part twice. So now in the next section, you're going to form a D sus2, which is D without the middle finger. So you need that bottom string to be open. <clears throat> play the, the fifth string or A string twice. Middle finger goes on that third fret of that A string, hit it, do a slight bend. Then down a string open on the D string. Middle finger on that string, third fret, do a slight bend, then open. I'll do that again. And then the bottom string, open, which is already open by holding your chord. Second string twice, third string once. Let me put that together. So you're going to do that part three times. And then to cap it off, you're going to hit the open A string twice again. Third fret, middle finger. Ring finger goes underneath it on the fourth string. Strum both those strings. Do a slight bend. And then form the D sus2 again. But you're going to strum fifth down to the second string. Which actually makes it a D5 with A in the bass. Alright, so I'm going to play the whole intro in its entirety here for you.
Good luck.